Better heat transfer means more effective coolers. Thank you, Intel, for finally doing this. As the launch of Intel's ninth generation core processors gets closer and closer, more performance and overclocking previews are appearing online in various Asian forums. The latest one shows the Core i7-9700K being pushed beyond 5 GHz on an air cooler. The Intel Core i7-9700K processor is an 8-core and 8-thread part. The chip will have 12 MB of L3 cache, and as you might tell, has a little bit lower threading than the i7-8700K, but comes with actual higher core count. In terms of clock speeds, the chip has a base clock of 3.6 GHz and boosts up to 4.9 GHz in a single core, 4.8 GHz when two cores are active, 4.7 in a quad core load, and 4.6 GHz in a 6 and 8 core operations. So that's pretty, pretty beefy. So 4.6 GHz across all cores when they're under load, provided there's not thermal constraints or what have you. The TDP for the most part is maintained at the same 95 watts, albeit for base frequencies of course. Now the chip is one of three unlocked K SKUs that will be available on launch and like previous generation processors, the ninth generation will be compatible with existing 300 series motherboards as well as the new Z390. So if you're running a Z370 and you want to upgrade, you're good to go. You're going to need to make sure though that the manufacturer does have a proper BIOS implemented to support it and you'll likely have to upgrade to that one. Now the following are some key features in the upcoming lineup that I feel like most people are concerned about. So it's the first performance Core i9 desktop S series processors with up to 8 cores compatible with all 300 series chipsets. A newly returned to the STEM design. That's STIM. Now that stands for Soldered Thermal Interface Material. So yes, gone is the toothpaste and in comes the solder, which is great for enthusiasts. In terms of overclocking, we've already seen the chip running up to 5.5 GHz on a water-cooled setup as shown in previous leaks. And to do that, a voltage that was presumably 1.536 volts was used, and to be honest, that's a bit much for a chip but regardless, the chip was able to run its 8 cores at 5.5 GHz, and the leaker even provided with performance benchmarks in Cinebench R15, showing the chip scored around 250 points in single-threaded performance and 1827 points in multi-threaded benchmark, which is absolutely insane. The latest leak shows the chip running at 5.3 GHz on air cooling with a voltage of just 1.215 volts. Now this could be a really good sample that the leaker got his hands on. Aside from that, the specs are the same as which we've mentioned earlier, and the interesting thing to note here is that the chip is still an ES or engineering sample and has the C stepping and P0 revision. The chip was spotted running on a deep cool Gamax 400 air cooler, which is a very entry level solution featuring four heat pipe contact points, which directly contact to the CPU, similar to the Hyper 212 Evo, and does cost under 30 bucks. We have no idea what board the chip was running on, but it's surprising to see that the VRM area of the board used was bare of any heat sinks. So that might put some heavy stress on the PWM supply. Well now at this point in the comment section below, we'd love to hear your thoughts on these upcoming chips. Excited for the solder? Really don't care? Or why haven't they done it sooner? Really like to hear your take on it. If you'd like to see more and dig in a little deeper, feel free to hit the link in the description below. We are still running our giveaway with Cooler Master, and that link will also be down there. And well, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you're subscribed so we don't miss you in the next one.